Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm GNG and in this episode of the Highland Fling we are taking on Bucky Thistle away from home, they are predicted to finish 2nd in the league, they're down in 5th at the moment, that's a tough away game for us and then we have our first cup action of this series when we take on Forest Mechanics in the Highland Cup and that is a chance for us to get through because we've taken on Forest Mechanics in the league recently enough in one of the two games we've played since the last episode we took them on at home and came away with a 2-0 league win Owen Parson with this lovely strike putting us ahead on 24 minutes great strike from him Gordon McNabb scored a second late on and we held on for a 2-0 win there and that leaves us in second position in the league a point off top and we are uh, seven points clear of Bucky Tissel going into this game. So yeah, if we can get a win there, get a win there, it would be a real boost to our chances of promotion. Then we took on uh, Devon Vale in the North of Scotland Cup third round, and it was a defeat. Sadly, one 0 down at half time. Leroy got us back to one one. We then went ahead through Gordon McNabb. They equalised, and in injury time, they got a late a winner to go three two and knock us out of that cup competition. So that is the catch up done, and here is the lineup to take on Bucky Thistle. It's our strongest eleven. Really are settling in with this eleven. A few players are tired after that cup game, so hopefully they can struggle through. Plenty of green lines starting to appear all over the team, so chemistry is looking good. Can we get a huge away win? So here we are ahead of this away tie against Bucky Thistle. They've been in decent enough form off late in 5th position in the table. A little bit lower than expected for ourselves. We're much higher than expected. Really good form of late. That cup defeat. The only real blot in the last 4 games. So hopefully we bounce back from that. There is the league table. A point off the top. Can we get a huge 3 points here. And really put us in with a chance of finishing top. 4 tie light. Free kick here for Eddie Flynn. Plays a short to what? 2 minutes into this game. What? Plays it to Farquhar. Gets torn. Patterson. Harrison goes long with the ball towards Leroy. Can he win the header? No, he can't. And Bucky Tissel will pick it up. Barry, long ball over the top. Keeper would claim that easily. And we can start an attack here again. Flynn drops it to his feet. Plays it to Patterson. Patterson went long last time. Plays it back to Watt this time. Watt into McCaddy. On to Berry. Berry, can he get turned? No, he comes in field. Now it's Ross Gunn, who's been really good this season since he came back from an early injury. Here's Ross Gunn. He's going to take on his man. It's taken off him. And Wood will get possession. He'll keep it in play. Back to his keeper. Oh, he tried to put pressure on. Berry is going to get back for us here. This is really good now. We're in a good position to start and attack. Berry going to take on his man. Can he get across into the box? Berry, bit of space here. Cross comes in. McNabb, gun. Oh, gun has scored a number of headers like that. But not this time. Goal kick for Bucky Tissel. They go along with it. And it hits one in the air by Alan Farquhar. Down to Berry. And he's got McNabb making a run with him. Berry, can he play him through? He goes with a shot himself. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Sadly, it's just over the top. Joan here with five minutes to go off this first half. That bright start from us is kind of faded and it's become a more even game as Bucky Tissel played around. Wood in space takes the shot. Oh, it's into the side of the net. Good chance there for them. Half time here, we go in at nil nil. We've probably been the better side to be fair. We created seven shots, only one on target, 66% off possession. We've been on top, haven't got ahead. Can we do it in the second half? Corner kick for Bucky Tissel, less than a minute into the second half. They go to the far post. Watt wins the header, gets a clear, but Pew is going to bring it back for them. He gets by a man, he gets across the far post. Flynn though. Comes out and claims it. That's good goalkeeping from Eddie Flynn. And now we can build an attack early in this second half. Hopefully he's going to roll it out to Watt. Watt looks for options. Plays it to Patterson. Patterson down the line is Barry, but he goes himself. Patterson gets us up the pitch a bit. Oh, it's a poor pass though. And now we have a few players out of position. And Morrison brings it forward for them. Morrison, he's into the box. He takes the shot. It's off target. And it'll stay. Nil-nil. Goal kick for Bucky. They go along with it. Are they going to win it in the air? No. Farco wins it down to McNabb. To McCovra. McCovra plays it to Berry and then makes the run ahead. Berry has a bit of space to run towards here. Now can he get across into the box? He can. McCaddy is there. He doesn't win it. Falls to go and takes it down. Cross it. McCaddy. Oh, scramble in the box. It's cleared. And it'll come back at us. Will it now? Chance for Bucky to counter attack here. And they're looking for someone to make the run. Here is McIver for them. They're into our half. We're 10 minutes into this second half. McIver coming down this side. We get a tackle in from Alan Farquhar. It'll stay. Nearly. Free kick here for Bucky. They play it long into the box. Can we head it clear? We can. Leroy got the header and now he's going to run onto it. Oh, he couldn't quite win it there. So it'll come right back at us. 25 minutes ago. Boot in possession for Bucky. They come down this side. And they're going to get across in the box. They are to the far post. They've won the header. Oh, it's gone in. Kevin Fraser puts Bucky Tissel ahead. And that's a big blow to go fall behind with only 25 minutes to go. And we've dropped off since that first half for sure. They've come more into it. 
I see Borough Rangers are 9 0 up against Banks OD. <laughs> um, we lost, got hammered by them, and it looks like we're going to fall to another defeat here. Fraser wins the header against Nedden, heads it into the ground. Flynn can't stop it. We're 1 0 down. McKay, who's come on at right back, plays it to Ironside. We've changed that right hand side to try and create some chances. Cross in towards McNabb, can't win the header. Falls to Gunn, Ross Gunn. Oh, he's fired it wide. And was that the chance to get level in this game? We're into five minutes off injury time. 30 seconds left. McKay has a throw in here to Leroy. Being very quiet in this game, Leroy. Halliday. Oh, he loses possession. Do we get it back with McKay? We do. First time cross towards Gunn. Wood heads it clear. Gunn takes it down. Cross towards the far post. Our keeper claims it. And that will be that. It will be a defeat here. And is this the start of a slide down the table? Because we're losing to one of the rivals in those top spots. We have the ball back here. Is there a late chance? Leroy to Ironside. We're over the time. The referee blows the whistle. It's a 1-0 defeat. Not a great second half from us at all. Only one shot on target in the whole game. We look at the table. We'll stay in second position for now. Bucky Tessel have closed that gap to us. And yeah, we still haven't drawn a game this season. We've lost to Bucky Tessel. Now we go into cup action. So here we are taking on Forrest Mechanics away in the quarterfinal of the Highland League Cup. It's a competition I would li- love to get at least to the final. Maybe get a bit more money into the club for that. It wouldn't be much, but it would be great to get to a cup final. In our first season, we're out of both of the other cups we play in. Our chance here is to get through to the semi-final of the Highland League Cup. Highlight here right from the kickoff in the pouring rain as they play the ball forward. We beat them in the league recently enough. We've lost two games in a row though now for the first time in a while this season. I think first time at all this season maybe we've lost two games in a row. Although, no, we lost a cup game and a league game earlier on in the season as well. Here come Forrest Mechanics on the attack. We close them down, passing around. And here's Leroy. He hasn't scored now in a couple of games. Can he get the ball forward? He's tackled. It'll fall to Berry. Can he get across into the box? He can. It's deflected. And it goes into the hands of Herbert in goals. And with a minute gone, it's nil nil. Forrest here with a throw in down the line. Can we cut it out? No, we can't. It'll fall in for a cross to the far post. Snedden is beaten. Flynn makes a brilliant save there. Snedden with a throw in. And he goes to Walsh who just volleys it up the pitch. And will it stay in play at will? And can we put pressure on the defence? Not at the moment. So Furrows can come on the attack. Morrison to Grant for them. And Alan Farker gets a tackle in. But we don't win possession. But Leroy gets it back now for us. Gunn has it. Gunn takes on his man. Ross Gunn oh, falls to McCaddy. McCaddy needs a runner with him. It's a poor touch from McCaddy. So McKenzie has it. McRitchie for them. And they're going to play out from the back. Grant cross field and they've done well to get up the pitch they're coming into our half now McKenzie quickly on to Morrison he gets turned can't get a tackle in at the moment it's good possession for them they play a ball over the top their man is going to race onto it he gets the cross Burger at the far post oh Daniel Burger puts them 1-0 up Snedden beaten in the air again disappointment there early behind in this cup tie Morrison to Tain and this ball over the top lovely weight on it for their man he gets a first time cross at the far post Borger gets up ahead of Snedden. Flynn can't stop it. We're one down. Flynn with a goal kick here. Plays a shot to Robinson as we approach the 10 minute mark. Snedden now has a bit of space to run into. Poor touch from Snedden. Gives the ball away. Now he's out of position. Borger's there. Robinson gets across. Wins the header. But they retain possession. It's Grant on the edge of the box with the shot. And Flynn makes a really good save there. Tips it over. And we are under a lot of pressure here early in this cup tie. And they will have the corner kick. Could they get a second already? In it comes. Flynn is coming for it. Claims it on the air. Under no pressure. It'll stay 1-0. Free kick. Burger to take it. Quite clever one. But it's gone backwards for now. We try and push out. They still have possession with Skinner. And they're trying to operate something here. It's Morrison. And we're trying to put pressure on. We win it back. Farquhar but it falls to McKenzie. And we get a tackle in again. But we can't get the ball back. It's still with Forez. Forez plays it to McKenzie now. McKenzie. Other oh, space. Morrison's true. Surely he's offside there. Surely the flag will go up. And it does. Sean Morrison. Offside there. We're lucky not to be 2 0 down. Snedden here with a throw in as we just go over the 20 minute mark. He tries to play it through there towards Gunn. Robinson back to Snedden. Looking for options. McCaddy back to Robinson. Passing around. Here's Watt. Watt has options on this side. Plays it to Patterson. Patterson plays it to Berry. Berry in space. Leroy! Leroy! It's, oh, it's offside. It's offside. Oh, I thought he had his 13th goal of the season there, but he just gone too early and we'll stay behind. Take care for Forez. Uh, we are 22 minutes into the half. Still 1-0 down and looking to get back into it. But they have the free kick and they have possession here. They're going to take on the man. They get a bit of space past Berry. Cross comes in towards Morrison. Morrison won the header but it goes miles over. Going here, Patterson to take it in towards McCaddy. Back to Patterson. Cross in towards Gunn. Can he win the header? He can. Oh, he's put it wide and he's buried so many of those chances. Joan here. We have 10 minutes off the half remaining. They go down the line but Berry intercepts it. 
Berry in towards Farquhar. Back to Patterson. Back to Watt. Now we need a bit of possession here. Berry takes it down. Don't lose it there. Oh, he's lost it. He was isolated. And they had two round him. Win the ball back. And now they have possession. And can try and create an attack. Can we get a tackle in here? McKenzie coming through the middle. It's Miguel for them. And Patterson intercepts it. Now Farquhar has it. Goes back to Flynn. Flynn has uh, options to go long. But he plays it to Watt. Watt. He goes long. Can we win it in the air? No, we can't. And now they're going to come right down the middle. Alice McKenzie. Oh, what a goal. Craig McKenzie. But it's all of our own making. We gave the ball away too easily. And we're 2-0 down in this cup tie. And we're in a patchy run of form all of a sudden. Flynn plays it to Watt. Watt just boots it long towards no one really. They get the ball back quite easy. McKenzie in so much space here. He takes the shot. Flynn can't get to it. We're 2-0 down. Free kick for them right in the end of this half. We're going into injury time of which there will be two minutes. Are they look going to get a third goal which really would probably rule us out of this cup. And we'd be out of all cup competition then. And no silver in our fourth season. Robinson steps up there. Wins that back. Watt has it now. Watt. To Farquhar, back to Patterson, Berry in space here, he plays it to Berry, Berry quickly on to McCovra, McCovra bringing it forward, Leroy McCovra brings it forward, he needs support, going on his own into Berry, Berry is tackled, the referee gives the penalty and a big chance to get back in this tie, it would be Gordon McNabb to take it, a chance to have the deficit right on half time, McNabb steps back and he's missed it, oh no, Gordon McNabb has buried a couple of crucial penalties this season but that one is saved. And we go in 2-0 down at half time. We haven't really been in this game. We're going to need a massive second half if we're going to stay in this cup. Eddie Flynn boots the ball along towards Owen Harold, who's come on from McNabb up front. But it is gifting the ball away to them again. And they're going to come through quite easily down the middle. Morrison for them. Miguel coming forward. Is he going to get across into the box? We need to try and block it. We can't quite do it. Robinson gets a tackle in. The referee gives a penalty for them now as well. And this is a chance to seal this cup tie. Can Eddie Flynn save us? He saved a penalty earlier on in the season. Can he do it again? McRitchie! No, he sent the wrong way. They're 3-0 up for his mechanics. And we are heading out of the Highland League Cup. And that's really disappointing. Get to the quarter-final stage. A chance of winning this. And our form now. This will be three defeats in a row for the first time since we took over. And yeah, we're in big, big trouble. One here, Jack, who's come on at left back to McCaddy. Back to Jack. Oh, it's a terrible pass. Morrison is through. Hits the post. Oh, we're lucky not to be 4 0 down. It could happen yet, though. Miguel brings it back. Gets the cross in. Watt cuts it out to McCaddy. And we stay only 3 0 down. On a kick here for Forez Mechanics. And it will be Borger to take it. 25 minutes to go. We just want to get out of this game, I think. And not be completely hammered. Flynn comes to the cross. Punches it clear. Falls to Howard. Oh, he howls it over. <laughs> and it is. 3-0. Going here for them with 21 minutes to go. They play it long into the box towards Morrison. It's cut out by Robinson. And Gunn has it now. Gunn. He plays it to McCaddy. McCaddy to Harold. Leroy making a run ahead of him. Harold. Oh, he's giving the ball away. We've just given away so much today when we've been in promising positions. And then we're opened up like this. McKenzie to Morrison. Back to McKenzie. Shot was blocked. And Flynn makes the save. McLaughlin with a throw in for them. Less than 15 minutes to go. They're passing around Miguel. Into the box. Shot is blocked. It'll fall back to them. We boot it clear. Can Leroy win the header here? No, he can't. So it's going to come right back at us. But Gunn intercepts that and it'll stay 3-0. McKenzie in possession for them. We are approaching the end of this game. Only uh, injury time to be played. Here's Leroy coming forward. Leroy into the box. Takes the shot straight at the keeper. Leroy's worst performance, I think, since he joined us. He's on a 5.9. And it's just been a terrible performance from everyone. Two minutes of injury time. We have that nearly played. And we're heading out of the Highland Cup. And a chance of winning a cup this season is going to come to an end. So we will be focusing on the league. We're going to need to turn around some form now. Back-to-back -back defeats in cup competitions and a league defeat to Bucky Thistle. We're out of the Highland League Cup at the quarter-final stage. Well, there we have it. We exit all cup competitions in the last couple of weeks now. So if we look at it here, we got knocked out of the Scottish Cup by Stirling University in the first round. Knocked out of the North of Scotland Challenge Cup in the third round by Devonsville. And then we were knocked out of the Highland League Cup there by Forest Mechanics in the quarter-final stage. So no cup success for us this season. It will be focusing on the league. And if we take a look at the league table, we have actually slipped down to fourth position now with that defeat to Bucky Thistle and other teams playing their game in hands. We're uh, four points off the top. And we actually take on Frisborn and Frisborg in the next game. And that's the game we're going to do in the next episode is play the next two games against Frisborg, uh, Frisborg I should say, and Strats Bay. And after that Strats Bay game, we'll be exactly halfway through this league season I can really see where we stand then hopefully we can turn around this form look at that three defeats in a row for the first time since we started this save with Wick Academy 
We just need a win to turn around. It's going to be tough away to the league leaders who have been top of the league, I think, since the very first game. And, uh, yeah, haven't been touched since. It's going to be a real tough test for us. If you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like on the video. Oh, it's good to see more likes and the people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Closing in on 500 subscribers now, so really will help if you can hit that subscribe button. And it'll help you catch every episode of The Highland Fling. There's a playlist as well if you want to catch up how it's gone from the start. And until the next episode, please take it easy.